Mathematics is made of 50% formulas, 50% proofs, and 50% imagination. You get it, doesn't quite add up to 100%. But anyways, the, way, the reason I picked that one is it mentioned proof. So what we're going to be doing now is proving similarity. We're going to start with the angle-angle similarity postulate. And basically, I've got two triangles here. And you can actually adjust the points on A and B on either triangle. The only thing I fixed is that both angles have to be congruent. So two of these angles. I didn't even set what the third angle has to be. So you can see that as I am, I can make this any size I want as long as that angle is the same. So no matter how I set the sizes, all the ratios are equivalent because any two triangles with two matching angles are going to be similar. Now let's say I change the angles a little bit. The triangles are still matching. They're still matching. Even if I make it smaller, they still have those equivalent ratios. I can also adjust this one. Notice how both angles changed. I've got 50 and 75 now. So the main point is that if two angles are congruent, on two triangles, if the set of two corresponding angles are congruent on two triangles, then the triangles will be similar, which gives us our angle-angle similarity postulate. No matter the setting for corresponding angles, the triangles are always similar because we saw that all sides are proportional and all the angles are congruent. Also, if angle-angle um, similarity uses a third angle theorem, because basically, if I know two angles on a triangle, don't I already know the third? Because if I say one's 100 and one's 50, you can automatically tell me what the third angle is. So that's using the third angle theorem, that is, if two, angles are, two sets of angles are congruent, then the third set of angles has to be congruent. And since all three angles are congruent, that means that the triangles are similar. So if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. In this example, we're going to prove that ABC is similar to triangle DEC. So first of all, we start with the given, which is that AB is parallel to ED. And you can see that I already have the markings for the uh, parallel on both AB and ED up here. And then it's referencing the vertical angle theorem. Well, where are the vertical angles on this? I know one of them is ACB. What's the angle across from that? Well, that would be DCE. DCE goes with ACB. Then we have alternate interior angles. I know one of them is CBA because it's listed in the proof. Then the question is what other angle goes with that? Well, if I were to go ahead and get a highlighter, Let's go ahead and highlight my parallel lines here. And you can see my transversal. The alternate interior angle to that would basically be, um, hold on, there we go, would basically be that one. And which means that's angle D, uh, C, E, D. E is the vertex right there, so that's your angle. Well, now that I've shown that two sets of angles are congruent, then I can say the triangles are similar using the angle-angle similarity postulate. So in reflection, why do I need to show that only two angles are congruent to prove the triangles are similar? And does angle-angle similarity only work for triangles, or do you think it's good enough to work for other kinds of po polygons? What about quadrilaterals? Um, are all squares similar? Are all rectangles similar? Could we approve that all three angles are congruent in the example?